is another fall video that I'm making to share with you. So for this video, I was inspired by, of course, fall and all the leaves. And I have these leaf shape dies that I wanted to make a template out of. This is uh, similar to what I did with my bubbles where I used circles to make my bubbles in different sizes. In this case, I'm using different shapes of leaves and making my little template here. And this is just 110 pound Nina white cardstock. So I'm just putting this on my eight by 10 gel press and I'm going to use fall colored perfect pearls for this one, but you could use this for springtime or summertime if you stuck to more like the greens and the yellows. And really, I think this could be kind of like a year round thing. The oranges and the golds um, kind of lend more to the fall coloring. The pink was, a, I wasn't sure if I'd like the pink on here, but um, when you mix the pink with the oranges, it, it does look okay. And the green was kind of bright too, but again, that one mixed pretty well with the yellows. So I think it looked okay. One thing I'll mention is that when I was doing the leaf shape, you could see that top right corner one, the little detail was not sticking to the plate as much. I actually did not clean my plate with baby oil before I made this. So I would recommend maybe doing a coating of baby oil on top to get it really sticky and then you wouldn't have that problem. And same for the one on the bottom left. Those little pieces were coming up just because the plate wasn't completely sticky. Now to do the other side of the jelly print, I just flipped the template over and pressed it down again on the other side. Okay, so now I'm finishing up with these leaves on both sides of this jelly plate and that finishes up the pattern. I'm taking this sea foam matte acrylic paint. It's Delta, I got this from Michaels. Just a regular craft paint would work. I like this kind of blue color. Made it look like a sky in the background. So this one, um, I'm just gonna try to put an even coat over the back of it. And as I'm doing this, you'll start to see the leaves show through a little bit. That's good because I want it to have a light coat, just enough to pull it, but not take away too much of the paint that it won't come up. So I'm just using a regular copy piece of paper here. And I decided to use copy paper because copy paper um, is really good for envelopes or you could put them in like on top of cards. So I wasn't exactly sure how I was gonna use this. So I knew um, this would be a good paper to choose. See, it's a nice and shiny from those perfect pearl leaves. I had a little bit of dark blue left on my jelly print on that one leaf on the right, and I actually like how that turned out. It looks distressed and very, very beautiful. Um, so I did decide to turn this into a card. So I'll show you what I what I did for this card. I wanted to have a little pop-up feature in the inside, so I just took a scrap piece of paper. Um, I folded it in half and then I took both edges and folded them to the center. So it doesn't matter what size you're working with, just, uh, I, I don't even know what, what this measured, but I'd imagine it's about three inches total and then in half and then in half of that and half of that. So you have four exact same size pieces. Then I put some tape, double-sided tape on the two outside pieces. And those are going to be what are going to create the pop-up feature. So just fold that in half, place it wherever you want in, in the center seam, close it, 
and then you have this nice little box and that little box is where you can prop something up and to on top of so for my piece of paper that i just made my jelly print i'm just going to cut that down and figure out what part of this design that i want to put on my card front and then once i figure that out i'm going to go ahead and um, see with the different leaves which shape looks good on the which way it should be facing Some of you have asked if you can use perfect pearls if you don't have a jelly plate. So I'm doing this example here to show you what that would look like. Now I am using my jelly plate just to hold my leaves in place and it didn't even do the best job at that because again, my plate was not clean and it had powder on top of it already. So you'll still see these leaves moving around. Um, but what I wanted to show you is the difference of the vibrancy putting the jelly putting the pearls on the jelly plate versus just using the Versa mark on top of the paper and then putting the perfect pearls on top of that. So it does add a shine to the leaves, but once I show you the completed leaves, you can see they're not near as vibrant as when you use the jelly plate. So you can see here what these leaves look like. They do have the different colors of the pearls, but again, they're just not as vibrant as what you would get from the plate. So now to assemble my card, I just cut this glitter gold cardstock that I had and made a little mat for my jelly print, putting that down onto my card base first. Then I'll layer my jelly print on top of that gold cardstock. And that'll leave a nice pretty gold outline. And I like how that looks with the gold in the leaves. So now I wanted to work on the in the little inside piece that's gonna pop up. I'm putting a little sentiment on there this says wishing you a harvest of happiness i'm just using some black versa fine onyx black ink and then for the front of the card i used this hello stamp and for this one i wanted it off-centered so that the main focus was still going to be on the leaves. So you'll see I'll put it to the bottom right of my card. I would suggest if you were doing this, I probably should have done this whole stamping on the card front before I glued it down. So I would suggest if you wanted to make one like this, I would, I would do the stamping and the embossing before gluing it down. I just wasn't sure what I was going to do on top, so I glued it and then realized I wanted to show the leaves so I wanted to stamp on top of it versus putting a piece of cardstock over it with the sentiment. I'm using this liquid platinum embossing powder by Ranger. I love this color. It goes with almost everything. It's kind of a mix between a gold but like an antique gold and then it's kind of also like a, a silver like a 
rusted silver. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's such a pretty color. I did notice that the stamping didn't come out perfect so that hello was not the easiest to see to fix that because there's no mistakes in crafting i decided to use an alcohol marker in gray to kind of color in the inside of the words that'll kind of bring the hello into focus it needed a little something extra so i also used that gray on the leaves around the border just to pull those out, make them a little more visible. The hello still got a little bit lost, so I used a black marker. This is also an alcohol ink marker. And I just outlined each of the letters with my black. That did look much better having the gray and then the black but I needed one more thing to get it to pop. So I used my white gel pen. This is a jelly roll size 10. I just gave each of the gray areas a highlight. Okay, working back on the inside piece of the card, I have these leaves that I had made that I wanted to put on the bottom border of this sentiment that's going to be popped up. So I knew I was going to have to cut off the bottom pieces of these leaves because it needed to lay flat. So for now I'm just going to kind of glue them on knowing that I'll, I'll be able to keep the part that's to the flat end and I'll cut off the rest. Now I started cutting off the sides when I realized I really should have kept this side on the opposite side and it was a little too late so I took what was left what I had already cut off and I kind of lined it up. It's not a perfect match but it looked better this way and then that way I had a more complete leaf shape. Then I just glued that to this little pop-up piece And then there we go. We have a nice little pop-up card. And that looks really cute. And again, here you can see the leaves that I did with the Versamark on top on this inside piece. And then on the jelly print, what the leaves look like from the jelly plate pulling it off. So that completes this card, but we're not done yet. I did want to make an envelope for this, but before I made the envelope, I had that extra pearls on the jelly plate, so I wanted to see what that would look like. I knew it wasn't going to be a perfect leaf shape, but I figured this would make a, ba a background for something in the future. But I liked how this one turned out too, with a little bit of yellow on it. So I'm going to clean my jelly plate, and that's going to be using baby oil, and that'll get off all of that pearl powder and it'll make the the gel plate nice and sticky again. Now I'm ready to make an envelope. To make my envelope I cut a piece down to 8 and 1 8 by 8 and 1 8 and I score at 3 and 5 8. Now this jelly print I made a short video out of this one so I'll link that video if you wanted to see how I made this. It's a sped up version of how I made these, but it's essentially the same process using a nice buttery yellow color instead of the blue. So I'm folding my envelope pieces in to create my envelope. And um, for the fold part here, I like to do this on my envelopes where I 
kind of make this part flat up here. So I just fold it back and then fold it forward and glue that little triangle down. You could also cut it off. I just think it, I think it makes it a little more stable when I leave it on. Then I round out that top with the rounder, glue the pieces together. And then I have my completed envelope. Make sure the glue, if you're using wet glue, just make sure it doesn't stick to the inside. So I usually always open it to make sure that it's, it didn't seep out and glued to the inside of the card, the envelope. So here's what they look like together. Even though they're different colors, I think they go really well together just because they have the pearls on the leaves. And I think it's a super cute fall card. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I'll have some more fall videos coming out soon. And I hope you enjoyed and like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting!